Hello and good day. So I'm coming today with another story. So uh, I had someone that reached out to me and um, the person that reached out is a prophet and he's having some issues and he's trying to just get down to the bottom of things and he knows that he has some things that are attached to him but he's just trying to figure out how these things attach to him. Now uh, after speaking with him um, I started seeing that someone was placing witchcraft on him. Uh, so he had that coming from a lot of different directions a lot of jealousy that was around him um also he had like the spirit of lucifer satan uh spirit of leviathan and a lot of uh, like generational curses so he had a lot going on and this uh this was causing like um negative thoughts of suicidal thoughts trying to come in his mind uh dealing with depression and anxiety low self-esteem those sort of things now um Again, someone was placing witchcraft on him. So he was dealing with this and he was trying to fight this thing the best way he knew. So he decided to reach out to me for some extra help with this. Now, uh, the witchcraft and all this other things were being placed on him. And the reason why it was sticking because of the lack of fasting. You have to be fasting properly to keep yourself strong. I talk about that a lot. And I've also made videos on how to pray and fast to keep yourself strong and to protect you from this witchcraft stuff. Um, so they were casting these spells on him and this this had him vulnerable so of course uh while he's taking people through deliverance which he's a very powerful prophet and has delivered a lot of people removed a lot of demons from people but another thing that was happening was as he was re removing these demons some of these things was entering him as well uh, because again he was vulnerable and whenever you're in this stage where you, you know, when you're weak and you're in this stage, that's when they're gonna take advantage. It started flooding your body. So, um, <clears throat> so he was facing that. So he was able to overcome those challenges and um, to push, to push through, but the tax just kept coming nonstop. So, um, you know, I tell people, it doesn't matter uh, if you're, you know, spiritual or religious, whatever the case is, a lot of people think, demons cannot attach to like a spiritual leader uh, or just a Christian, you know, or someone that's a strong believer, which that's not true. They're going to attach to anybody. And most of the time, if they can't get the spiritual leader, they go for the kids. So that's why you see the kids, uh, they'll be strung out on drugs, living gay lifestyles or just alcoholics. And again, even the gay lifestyle, the transgender, all of these things are spirits that are entering these people. And it's what's causing these issues. But, uh, I'm working with him and Yeshua will free him and he'll return back to delivering and setting people free. Y'all have a great, safe, and blessed day.